Yeah, hello, welcome. My name is Martina Fröschl, and uh, thank you for the nice introduction. So I don't have to introduce myself actually, but maybe I say a little bit about myself because I also heard that we have more time because of one speaker cancelled, so maybe I... You, you can yeah you can see also the I did a backup online so <laughs> it's not going away so, uh, whatever the, the video. yeah but I, I want to say something before oh, okay sorry yeah so this is me <laughs> um, yeah so I uh, started in 2016 um, at the University of Applied Arts in Vienna and uh, was happy to um, be able to shape uh, the um, science visualization lab program there. Um, and uh, I, I really like uh, the approach there because the, uh, the science visualization lab, as you maybe have, uh, uh, you can write, uh, read it here, it is a science visualization lab. Usually you would say scientific visualization. Uh, but we want to really um, emphasize that the uh, science visualization lab does not only uh, do scientific visualization, but we have different um, perspective on the topic. So we really want to uh, share an experimental um, approach to scientific visualization with very different collaboration partners. So we see ourselves more like an in-betweener, um, a mediator between the arts and the sciences. Uh, as you will see afterwards, I compiled a really nice video um, of our project. So we had a, a lot of projects with arts and science um, collaborators all around the world. Maybe the most famous uh, project you have seen, it's the most international one, it was Noise Aquarium with the Art Science uh, Center at, at UCLA with Victoria Wesner. Um, but we are eager to collaborate with a lot of uh, different institutions, for instance, recently with the NTU in Singapore. Um, and yeah, I put a lot of this uh, into, the, uh, into the video and maybe I just start the video and stop at some points and uh, explain a little bit. So the video is um, um, dramaturgically somehow, um, at first I put a little bit more of the history of the scientific visualization lab uh, because it was uh, found by my boss, uh, Alfred Wendel, who is a uh, director and um, a producer of documentary films. And he co-founded the Universum, uh, Universum, Universum um, program at uh, the uh, National Broca Broadcasting uh, Station uh, in Austria. And um, they, all, they uh, collaborate a lot with uh, the BBC and uh, with the Nat National Ge Geographic and so on. So the, uh, the documentaries are very uh, internationally screened and sold all around the world. Uh, this was like the basis of the sci science visualization lab where we went a very transdisciplinary, um, uh, had a very transdisciplinary focus. And uh, from that, in 2014, we started to um, more and more uh, engaged in the public in uh, immersive media, in uh, art uh, sci collaborations, and so on. So I uh, do visual effects, and uh, as I uh, was introduced, I, I studied uh, computer animations and uh, scientific visualizations and um, visual effects. I worked also seven years in the industry, in the visual effects industry on uh, different uh, movie productions. And after that, I uh, was invited to um, uh, do these inputs for the Science Visualization Lab. So I'm gonna start the video, but maybe not. At, I don't know how the internet is here. Um, I also have it. I just saw it in the... <laughs> so, and let's see how loud it is also. This is... <laughs> so, um, I put some extra, so. so so we work a lot with scientific data, um, and maybe a little louder, so it could be like, uh, just that, I, I mean, I cannot 
feel how, um, so I can talk a little over it, but I think also the, the music, otherwise I wouldn't have put it. <laughs> so we work a lot with scientific visualization, as you can see with the to uh, tomographic imaging. Um, this we also did, for instance, in the, uh, in the noise aquarium, but also in different projects, where we really collaborate with the biologists and uh, uh, get this super nice high resolution um, volumetric data from the uh, from the animals, uh, microscopic animals, and then animate them. Yeah, we also work with the uh, with the nano graphics um, media, so with, uh, with, uh, in the nano worlds. Uh, so uh, different data sets from the protein database. I don't know if you uh, know this database. It's freely available. Of course, you need to collaborate with scientists. Um, to know what you're actually looking at usually because this is a huge database where all the protein research is, publi it is published but uh, there is constantly coming in new papers, new data sets. Uh, so um, if you work with the data, you might want to <laughs> approach experts, yes. And that's, that's what, we, uh, what we do a lot at the Science Visualization Lab, to work with experts, have a communication process and then uh, show the uh, data in the computer animations. Or histor his history reconstructions, like this one from Austria. This is from the TV station, and also this. I worked on that uh, before in a visual effects company, so, but uh, related to the science visualization lab, so. It's also a huge co-production all the time, so and maybe you know Terra Mata from the Red Bull Media. It's also, and this was a project about uh, the uh, virus. So this is the founder and our nice head lab office. <laughs> And we also have electron microscope um, at the University of Applied Arts in Vienna, where we can uh, take images for the artistic processes, but also for the uh, scientific research. And yeah, we, we use a lot of these uh, very authentic textures and scans and put them into the computer animation. So we also won an Emmy Award, as you can see here, for the uh, for a series that was co-produced and yeah this is uh, uh, from a recent screening at the national broadcasting uh, in Austria so I just took it from the TV grab <laughs> but it's our it's our animation so we also work a lot uh, with experts and scientists with artists and we also did a documentary about Kalcha Rassi, who was a good friend of uh, my boss, Alfred Wendel, and with artists, um, so this Victor Wesner, the main artist from the Noise Aquarium project, it's uh, with Plankton, so we did the Plankton animations for this project, and we really experiment a lot, so we really want to um, present the scientific visualizations in different ways. Uh, this is at Blender Conference, for instance, this exhibition uh, in Vienna that we did. Uh, we had there uh, free rooms and uh, also augmented reality. And uh, yeah, this is also from the, from the latest broadcast, uh, broadcast about the virus. So it's a phage, actually, um, out of data sets, also of the protein data bank. And uh, we also try to show these abstract concepts in our work and try to uh, convey, this is a, a funny thing, it was uh, at, the, at the Paseo Project Festival in New Mexico in the US uh, where they would put noise aquarium into this environment where you have to go, uh, go and sneak into through a tunnel into this tent. It was very... Uh, uh, it was very bodily for me in a way. Also, the children would play. This is all salt on the floor. It was a little hard on the on the uh, technical equipment, but the children loved it to play there. And it was this uh, interesting air also because the noise aquarium it, it is about um, about plankton and about noise pollution in the ocean. And you could really feel that you smell the ocean there in New Mexico. Um, yeah. So this is the, uh, these are.
experiments that we do, that we, 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 we like to be invited to a festival like that, uh, to see how in different ways the scientific visualizations can uh, be presented. This was in, uh, uh, in Singapore, the uh, man screens there. It's also very different. So it's the same project, but we show it in a very different way. So there is plankton, and here at the moment you see the, the noise uh, visual represented with waves. Um, very, uh, in the virtual reality version, it's, it's more like the waves laid, laid out, of course, in the three-dimensional space, and this is just a filter, but um, uh, the the message that we presented is basically um, in a very different medium, in a very different presentation, uh, a similar message. <clears throat> so, or also uh, a dice game, and uh, also uh, we try to um, show also different um, uh, different uh, data sets and also the background information in the presentations. And this was uh, a TV show and uh, uh, different data that we, that we use. So, um, we, of course, it's still scientific visualization, so we try to incorporate as much authentic data as possible, but what means authentic data, yeah. So it's really important to collaborate with the scientists to get the uh, essence of the project. So um, now there are the uh, there is a, a tour, I would say, through through our recent project. So the projects that we did uh, from 2016. Um, I just um, put some snippets, but we presented them uh, a lot. So it's um, just uh, short glimpses into the projects. I think you have to ask me afterwards if you're interested in one of the projects because it's, and also uh, please go to the website afterwards because um, there is so much more always to the projects, but I guess you know that <laughs> it's with every project. So we have two projects about climate change in collaboration with universities in uh, Austria. Um, then this is uh, the beginning project of Noise Aquarium, basically where we uh, portrayed the first creed, like the voracity of animals and how they started to eat each other and uh, gain energy from that. Uh, we did nice visualizations with Planck on that. This was um, uh, the gene editing process and it was also a dome projection but also stereoscopic video at some point. So we, we tried different presentations also and it was screened in uh, different planetarium environments, uh, but it was also uh, screened as a, a video, 2D video or 3D stereoscopic video. Um, the next video is uh, virus, uh, uh, is the virus dice project where we uh, I showed in the beginning already a small glimpse of it, and we also did some experimentations with that. That was a particularly funny story um, where. Uh, I tried to set up this with a very kitschy um, <laughs> um, projection mapping and um, I would play this virus dice game, so the game that you saw before, and uh, the people were, uh, were starting to really uh, be engaged into the topic and uh, because uh, with the dice you have this, um, 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 every dice um, uh, game is different and uh, you have all this, um, 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 uh, Zufall, sorry, coming into the <laughs> into the uh, into the game. So the people they were just uh, playing, and then see that uh, that their health state is actually something mm, that is that is um, very um, um, all, all the time different. Yes. So tried the different approaches. Uh, also, I would sit there and explain, and we worked together with the biochemists. This was a very important part of the project, where they, at the same time when we did the animations, they, they could also do these AFM uh, videos of the actual virus. And um, 
Uh, you could see, I mean, of course, it's just noise uh, if you look at them, but you see the shapes that are moving in a similar way. We also had these wobbly spikes um, that just came out uh, in, this, uh, in the scientific um, approaches, uh, in the scientific research at the time. Um, so we also tried to include the state uh, of the research of the, uh, of the virus uh, in the visualizations, but it wasn't that easy, of course, because the progress was very fast, as you all know. So the next, this project is Noise Aquarium. It's, const, uh, it's at the moment um, shown at the Barbican Center in London um, as a nice installation in the pit. It's a huge place there. I have some videos about that. But it, yeah, there is the augmented reality, and we also have a video that shows the background information and the scientific data that went to, into is at Seacraft and it was at Ars Electronica. So this is the exhibition. It's still on until 29th of August in London. Um, then we have a very new project here. I just have some uh, rough uh, animations because it's a project that's just ev uh, evolving. It's with a um, friend and collaborator, Steve Nichols, who's a, um, a very experienced uh, a director for the BBC, and we have butterfly experts where we show different states of the um, butterfly and how they evolve in the egg, and then also we have this message uh, that the butterfly effect um, might affect the ecology. So um, every, uh, every insect that we take out might uh, somehow affect our ecosystem. So. Yeah, this was a very short overview <laughs> of the science visualization projects, of the science visualization lab, lab projects at the University of Applied Arts, of our work there. And uh, we are currently working on a book like uh, the, for, from the last five years of the science visualization lab projects where we invited a lot of uh, really well-known writers. And the book is also called Doors to Hidden Worlds because we want to um, present in the uh, book that uh, the scientific visualization is like a mind opening, a pathway to see the, uh, the world in different ways. So it's, uh, it's a reference to also this whole uh, 70s um, things with hallucinogenic, and I saw also in the program of the ICA, there's a lot of this topic is, is, is very um, present at this ICA, but we see the technological inputs from the scientific visualization as another way to uh, open the doors to hidden worlds of our surroundings, of our world. Yeah, so, and um, of course, we always, as, as I said, we collaborate a lot with scientists, with artists. So if you want to collaborate with us, uh, just uh, contact, uh, uh, contact me, contact us, and um, maybe uh, we find a topic uh, where we really want to get together uh, in our work. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but but could, it, uh, could they read my contact? Uh, Sorry? Um, uh, could the audience read the contact, uh, uh, the website? Because so. it's, ah, yeah, well. ah, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, just in case if anybody wants to, yeah, you can also approach me. I, I, will, I will be around uh, the whole ICA, so, yeah.